Father prepares to bury his oldest daughter who died in an apparent murder-suicide in the Leonidas neighborhood in New Orleans. As Maddie Kurth reports, there are questions about how long it took New Orleans police officers to respond to the shooting. They're supposed to bury us. We're not supposed to bury them. Ernest Battle was heading out of town for a vacation when he answered the worst call a parent can get. I had to call back and see. That's a, that's a phone call no parent won't. No parent. He says his daughter, Felicia Cooper, was shot and killed in an apparent murder-suicide on Monroe Street by her husband, Raymond Cooper. Something wrong with the system. It's not just the police. It's the system is broken in New Orleans, and you wonder why you have crime. Neighbors say they made multiple calls to 911 to report a domestic dispute. A call log from a neighbor shows a call to 911 was made at 6.16 a.m. The NOPD says it received a call of shots fired at 6.51 officers arrived at 807. The Public Integrity Bureau launched an internal investigation into the police response Saturday morning. New Orleans officers say they were also called to the house Friday night, but couldn't make contact with the couple. Battle says the family was supposed to leave Saturday for a cruise to celebrate the couple's anniversary. Did you ever give any indication that there were problems? Never, never. I always thought it was good. She really loved him, I know that. Cooper leaves behind two children, an adult son, and the youngest, 17 years old, was home when her mother was shot. They're not, they're not good. They're not, they, you know, they still have to process not having a mother. Fighting through their grief, Felicia Cooper's family vows to fight for justice. We ain't gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? The PD, no, we won't stop. Somebody will answer. And that was Maddie Kurth reporting. Family and friends had a vigil last night to remember the victims.